I'm Champ Chong. It's Monday. This is Luther Day! On va perdre Bravo! Hey guys, welcome to the Monday edition of the show where I report on the latest in gaming news. Now if you noticed at the start of the video I had a meet up with a bunch of subscribers the other day. Thanks to all you awesome people in Melbourne that showed up and I had a great time meeting you guys. Anyway, if you do go on to enjoy today's video, please remember to smack that like button as always and now let's jump into the first gaming news report of the day. And it's that a bunch of information of GTA 5's gameplay was released. First off, I'm going to run through some of the important stuff and then make a full series in other videos where I go in depth with everything. But basically here are some of the details that were revealed alongside some new screenshots that were also revealed. You'll be able to switch between the three main characters at almost any point in the game. Basically what you do is you bring up a character wheel and switch between the characters. It'll use a Google Street View style system and the map will zoom out in stages across the map and then you zoom back into the player that you want to see and it basically takes a few seconds to do that. But when you're in an actual mission, character switching will be instant. Now when you're in a mission like a heist, you can actually customize your gear before the heist itself. For example, you can put on a different type of mask, like put on a monkey head smoking a cigarette, or do some other things like a Jason Voorhees hockey mask, or something like that. Also, what you can do to make the heist easier is hire a crew member. You can hire many additional crew members, but you will have to share a cut of the spoils with them, and you won't get to keep it all, because, well, they're helping you out. Also, before a mission does start, you can place a getaway vehicle, so you can actually be prepared for when you're leaving. Now, how the actual gameplay and gun mechanics will work in GTA 5 is a little bit different to GTA 5. It's actually a little more similar to Max Payne 3 where you will have a variable targeting option system. So that basically means you'll get to choose from free aim, soft lock or hard lock. That'll basically be up to you. It's also been reported that the weapon wheel selection system from Red Dead Redemption is used in the game. Now something that's also similar to Red Dead Redemption is that the reticle will switch from white to red when you identify an enemy. And a tiny little X will appear over the enemy's head when you've killed them. So in that sense it's actually very similar to Red Dead Redemption. Another thing to point out is that GT GTA 5 will have the largest selection of weapons from any GTA game. Now some of the weapons that have been spotted, you guys can see in screenshots and some of the trailers, is that you can get sniper rifles, machine guns, sticky bombs, things like that. And just something I really want to confirm is that weapon customization will be in the game. It will include silencers, scopes, extended mags, and laser sights. Another thing I do want to point out is that there will be animals in the game. I'm not sure if you can kill them or anything like that at this point, but there will be deer and other animals like that roaming around Blaine County, which is another part of the map. So yeah, all that stuff and a whole whole lot more will be in GTA 5. Now as I did just say, a whole lot more will be in GTA 5 and I will do a whole series if you guys want me to. So let me know in the comments down below if you want to see me do a full in-depth video of everything. Also if you do want to check out a bunch of the new screenshots, which like 20 of them were revealed the other day, you guys can check it out, the link is down below. Anyway, now we move on over to the sad news. Sad news! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so some really quick sad news today, and it's that the PS4 controller will still have the share button, however, it won't be as awesome as we all first thought it would be. For instance, players won't be able to upload whatever they feel like. There's going to be parts of the game that will be shareable, and then other parts that aren't. It'll actually be up to the developer choosing what you can share and what you can't share. For example, some of the developers may not want you to share the final boss battle. So yeah, it's going to be up to the developer to allow you to share what you've done in the game. Game. Honestly, I don't think this is a huge issue since I rarely would use that share button. Well, I'm predicting that I wouldn't use that share button. Seriously, I just don't see the point of it, but it's a cool little feature and hopefully developers are cool with it. Anyway, that is it for the sad news and now we move over to the big news. Big news. I know you guys are Batman fans like I am and that's why we have some Batman Arkham Origin news as a bunch of new screenshots have been revealed. There are five new screenshots to be exact and as predicted, they look incredible. Though one thing I'm still worrying about this game is that as previously mentioned, this game will have multiplayer. Hopefully this doesn't take away from the single player experience and they actually dedicate more time on the single player than the multiplayer because the first game and the second game had incredible single player and they didn't have multiplayer. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. But now to our next news report of the day, a Pacific Rim game has has been outed by the Australian Classification Board. It has showed up on the listings and will be developed by Ux, but no publisher is listed. The reason the game most likely doesn't have a publisher is because it will most likely be on digital release only through Xbox Live Marketplace and the PlayStation Network Store. Anyway, that is it for the gaming news of today, and now it's time for the Gorilla Man question. 
Thanks, Cool Amanda. Okay, guys, the question is, what is your favorite game collectible and why? So put your answers down below in the comment section. You can end up on the next show. Enjoy today's video. Make sure you smack that like button because I'm Champ Chong Wax. This is Australian. How the answer? Cool Man's previous question. Oh.